DOT IS SEARCHING FOR NEW WAYS TO FUND INFRASTRUCTURE PROJECTS AFTER THE BRIDGE TOLLING PLAN WAS SHOT DOWN EARLIER THIS MONTH. OUR STATE CAPITAL BUREAU REPORTER BRENDAN SCANLIN TALKED WITH PENDOT LEADERS ABOUT WHAT THEIR PLANS NOW ARE. PENDOT'S PLAN TO TOLL NINE BRIDGES USING A PUBLIC-PRIVATE PARTNERSHIP WAS ONE THAT SAW MAJOR OPPOSITION SINCE GAINING TRACTION IN NOVEMBER 2020. WE'RE REALLY PLEASED THAT POLICYMAKERS RECOGNIZED THAT TOLLING is just not the way to fund transportation infrastructure. Two Commonwealth Court decisions citing against the department paved the way for legislation, now Act 84, that put an end to the plans earlier this month. As per that law, that is no longer able to continue in that vein. We have to figure out how we're going to fund highways and bridges. The gasoline and diesel tax is just not going to do it. Now it's back to the drawing board for the Wolf administration. But PennDOT Acting Executive Deputy Secretary Melissa Batula says time is not on their side. We have no shortage of needed projects across the state. Even with a $300 million increase in the new budget for her department, Batula says it's a drop in the bucket. Just for the highway and bridge side, you're still at that $8 billion. We really haven't started plugging away at that gap. She says PennDOT is exploring other options like a mileage-based user fee or package delivery fee. I think there's a lot of promise in those. The funding crisis leaves PennDOT at a fork in the road to take designated funding for future projects and use it now or vice versa. It's going to come at the expense of current projects or future projects and there's really no way around that. Opponents agree roads and bridges are in distress but argue that tolling bridges at the expense of taxpayers who are already biting the bullet on higher prices is not the path forward. The last thing we needed was um, additional tolls, additional costs for driving on our highways. Reporting in Harrisburg, Brendan Scanland, Erie News Now.